Hey everyone, this is me, Mohammed Kamran, and welcome to my channel, Game Animax. In this video, we will create a bomb uh, blast in this drum. And I have this drum actually 3D, so what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna go this from here and go to the geometric, select bomb. Just click the bomb inside of the drum in the center. After this, uh, nothing is just happening. I'm playing my timeline, nothing is just happening. So we just need to link this. Select this link and make a link with this drum. Now this, uh, this has the link. And now if I click the timeline, you can see the drum is going to blow. Yeah, you can see, so just take the move tool, select the bomb and go to that modify panel, just play with the settings like spin or strand or maybe minimum or maximum size, something like this, 5 prox 5 and prox 5 as well. So now if I play this, you can see it will blow in the different directions. That's, that's pretty perfect. So, as you can see, one thing is missing. So I'm going to the helper and select atmosphere appearance. Just to create fire as well. Because the bomb is going to take the blast. So the fire will appear as well. So just put this sphere. Select set the radius size. And uh, if I play this, this one and take the render. So there's nothing is happening actually. What you need, you need to add the fire effect and go to the environment. Select the fire effect and come to the downward. Select explosion and approx 5 frames. 5 frames. Fine. So if I to play, play, so you just, you can take the fire as well. Something like this. And if you will go further, so you will see the smoke after the fire, after the blast take place, you can find the smoke. But there is uh, no motion blur in this part. So just select it and go to the object property. Object. Select the motion blur panel. You can see the motion blur. So select the object. So now I can see there's blurness in the part of the drum. Something like this. So that's really perfect. Uh, I need to take the render. Go to the render setting and first of first of all you need to select the range 0 to 100 frames and select the save files. Give the location to save the files or to save the renders. I'm gonna give the name of explosion and give the name of render is drum explosion format maybe PNG save then you can take render go to the Adobe After Effects and import your render you can take any any of the frames single frame just import to the composition and you can see there's a beautiful blast in the drum so we made it. Thank you so much. If you like the tutorials, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so I can give you more tutorials.